Good afternoon. I'm Andrew Gombas and I'm with Illinois National Guard. I'm here today to share with you my family's and mine story of the military, as well as our town's memorials and the history of the military in this town. As you may know, I enlisted in the National Guard as in March, and I can tell you that I've wanted to join for a while, probably since I was 12. But even though my plans have changed, my motivation for joining still has not. I believe that joining the military is the most American job in this country. However, if you're not able to join the military for whatever reason, it is not my place to judge. My job is to protect you, the citizen, and the foundation of this country, the Constitution, whether on foreign or domestic soil, as is in my oath. That was one of my biggest motivators, to protect where I live and provide peace in my home. I've always had the urge to help people, and even outside of the military, I plan to continue doing so. I'm currently studying to become a paramedic and ab applying to colleges to further my education in medicine. But duty and protection aren't my only motivation. My family has a long history in the military and is another driving factor. Both my father and his father served in the Navy. And I also have cousins and uncles who have served in every branch combined. My grandfather served in World War II from 1941 to 1945. He was stationed on a submarine off the coast of Alaska being a coxswain. He was defending the country from nuclear threats to Alaska and Canada. My father served as well in the Navy at the beginning of the Afghan Wars from 1978 to 1982. He was a fireman aboard a personnel carrier, and although he wasn't part of any conflict, his ship was on a tour around the Mediterranean Sea. The tour started in southern Spain, went to Italy and Greece, and then south to Lebanon and Israel, and finally to Egypt, Libya, and Algeria before coming back to South Carolina. And last but not least, one of my uncles that I'm close to served in the Vietnam War as a helicopter mechanic. All of this is to say that my family has a deep-rooted history in the military, going all the way back on my mother's side to the colonization of America. My family is one of the many in Bunker Hill with the military background. As you may know, the old Meisner High School building has been out of commission for many years. But not long after it opened as a private academy for non-military students in 1859, it became a public school in 1862 at the start of the Civil War. The building stood dormant yet again after 1869 until 1883 when Reverend Samuel L. Stiver established the famed military academy. He taught children and cadets alike, teaching for the next 27 years. Through the academy's time, 1,050 cadets enrolled and it received high praise from the members of the community and businessmen in the area. Reverend Stiver died in November of 1910 and no successor was able to operate as well as he had, causing the closure in 1914. The building was later sold at auction and the bell from the building was installed in the belfry at the Brian Baptist Church right next door. Since its closure, the grounds were sold to the Ladies Civic League who maintained a park there until 1948 when the infamous tornado tore through Bunker Hill. But at that point, the American Legion took over and maintains a park there to this day. Recently, Whitaker Park at the north end of town has undergone renovations. One of these changes has been the addition of a memorial by our American Legion, a brick patio standing in front of the U.S. flag with the names of almost 200 veterans written on the bricks. This memorial states, in honor of all veterans, past, present, and future, who bravely served their country and helped protect the precious freedom we all enjoy. Above this message is the great seal of the United States, and to the left is the seal of every branch. The Army, the Marine Corps, the Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard, and the Merchant Marines, who are citizen ship owners and federal ships that serve the country. Standing in front of this memorial, you can find, six feet to the right, another smaller memorial inscribed with a symbol for prisoners of war missing in action. Below the silhouette of the soldier is a well-known line, you are not forgotten. I believe that this memorial is greatly revered and a perfect example to honor and remember our fearless veterans. Lastly, but certainly not least, is a stretch of Route 159 that's named for one of our Vietnam veterans. North of town between Detour Road and Route 16 is the stretch that our own Senator Andy Menar has proposed to rename after Lance Corporal Charles Heinemeyer, who served alongside the Brethren in 1st Marine Division. Corporal Heinemeyer was killed in action on August 21st, 1969, and posthumously awarded three bronze stars and a purple heart. His fellow soldiers knew him to be a positive influence in the midst of difficult circumstances. 
I'll leave you with a simple word of advice. No matter who you are, no matter what you do, you can be just like these courageous men and women who served and are serving without ever enlisting. You can do this by showing support and helping us through hard times. You can do this by praying, and you can do this by being a proud American. Thank you, and have a blessed Veterans Day.